Good morning. Welcome to this beautiful site uh, on the Gondot River. Um, I'm, I get uh, to do a lot of wonderful things being the director of the Division of Natural Resources, but one of my favorite things to do is introduce this guy to my right. Um, I'm coming up on five years here, and uh, he made a promise to me, and he made a promise to the hunters and, and anglers in West Virginia when he got here that things were going to change for the better. And I can tell you he put me to work, and, and I have been doing everything he's wanted me to do. And as a fisherman and, an angler and a hunter, I can tell you West Virginia is, in a whole, is doing a lot of great things. Um, we have a trout plan coming out. Uh, our fisheries department has been working on it. And the governor is going to make some announcements today about that new trout plan. Um, he's going to talk to you today about some things that he's, he's wanted to do down here for a long time. So I don't want to talk a lot. I want to turn it over to him because I know he's the guy that you came to see. So with that, with that, I'd like to introduce the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Well, first of all, I can never thank you enough for coming. You know, we've got bugs here with us and a lot of, a lot of really important folks. Let me go back to just this. The director of the DNR, you know, a position that's unbelievable. I mean, really, when it really boils right down to it. And forever and ever, now I know he's got great people around him, Glenn, whatever, and, you know, and a lot of good people that make, make the licks really work. But when it really boils right down to it, you've got to have a real passion. You just don't have to say, well, I love to hunt and fish, and I love the outdoors. You know, there's lots of people that can say, I love to hunt and fish, and I love the outdoors. But really and truly, do you really, really get it? You know, I said in the briefing yesterday about a fellow, Dr. Everett Ray, that, you know, worked in this area right here, but his office was in Beckley, and just a country-type doc that was really a family doc for all of us, a wonderful doc. He used to tell me, he said, you know, do you really see the beauty in a bluebird? Do you really see the beauty in a sunset and everything? Because take time to always do that in your life. And I love to hunt with Dr. Ray, and he was a great fa family doc for my family and a wonderful personal friend of my dad's. But he got it. And this man gets it. And I truly believe in my soul I get it. Now, with all of that, there's a lot of great stuff we can do in West Virginia. And we're doing it. You know, that stuff turns to tourism. It turns to multiplier dollars. It turns to all these things that really turn the wheel for all of us. It gives us opportunity. It literally gives us a chance in life to really pull ourselves out of a hole, and that's what we've done in West Virginia. Now, West Virginia now is on its way, is it not? West Virginia now truly has become the diamond in the rough that people missed. Instead of the place that was backward and poor and everything else with it, look around. I mean, for God's sakes of living, could there be a place any more beautiful than right here where we're at right now? Now, with all of that, you got to have new ideas and new initiatives and creativity in what you're doing and be bold enough to do it. This beautiful stream, the Gyandot right here, the absolute incredible water that this is right here. And the water is pristine now because the mining companies are doing a lot, of, a lot better job. Beyond all of that, we have the coal water that's coming out of the mines that make this fishery really, really, really special. Now, you know, as this fishery grows in size that way, or it is absolutely pristine beyond belief in this way, 
you know, we just want to make it better and better and better. I don't think from the standpoint of the state that this stream has ever been stocked. You know, is that correct? And now we're going to we're going to move it onto our calendar for 2022, and it will be stocked on a on a regular basis, not an annual basis, but a regular basis in 2022, and it will provide many many more opportunities for our anglers to enjoy great fishing in our state, and for the nature lovers to enjoy all the beauty that we have in the state. But all of that adds up to one thing. And that is more people coming, more tourism dollars, more multiplier effect, more gas being bought, more big gulps at the 7-Eleven, and on and on and on. And baby dog, more nuggets for you too, baby. You know, but nevertheless, I, I can't be more proud. I, I mean, now sure, sure, maybe we don't stock ABC Stream perfect as far as being able to, you know, carry the buckets up and down and put fish here and there and everything. Maybe it's not perfect, but it's better. It's better. You know, we used to just drive up in spots and dump fish off and just to get, get it done and get out of the way. And really, truly, at the end of the day, you know, that's really not doing what we want to do. You know, we are absolutely growing real fisheries all across this state. We really are. We truly, truly are. And uh, I just couldn't be more proud of you. I really couldn't. I, I really couldn't. I think you've done a fabulous job, and all your people around you that do great work every day. I, I just, uh, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than it used to be. So anyway, I, I can never thank you enough. And uh, so we're proud of you. And I didn't really mean for Baby Dog to come out here, but uh, all y'all think the whole world more about baby dog than me so she's here <laughs> thank you governor I, I did want to mention a couple of things you talked about this beautiful site um dewey Houck is here standing right back there that gentleman helped build this site here put this out here and they're they're constructing these all up and down the guy dot river i think this is number six or number eight five. number five so I'm, I'm getting ahead of you but it's it's because of people like that and, you know, and y'all that have jumped in and this like I said, Gondot's a beautiful river, and uh, we're going to be stocking thousands of pounds of trout here. Starting the first year, we're going to be going all the way through May, um, and we're excited that the, this is something the governor's wanted to do for a long time. I wish I could have got it done quicker for him and for you, but uh, there's never a better time to start than right now. So with that, Governor, I'd like to invite you down to the river for the initial stocking, and uh, he's going to put some trout in the river and uh, then we're going to go to some other places and put some fish in the water. We also have Curtis Fleming here today from Fly Rod Chronicles. He's really excited to be down here. He's going to try these waters out some and, and give me a report on it. Um, but uh, it's a great day to be in southern West Virginia. And, Governor, we thank you for everything.